first of all, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet it's you. It's an absolute honor. <laughs> We're like nerding out about Baby Driver and Dunkirk. Of course, yeah. Because you have really good taste in movies. Oh, thank you. So do you. Uh, thank you very much. Now, uh, obviously, we're at Novacon. This is a really cool event. Talk about uh, what your experience has been like so far. What is it like meeting fans of Stranger Things? Is, uh, do you have is it, do you have any crazy, funny stories of fans you've met so far? Um, I mean, I don't know. Everybody is really great. I'm a total nerd myself, <laughs> so it's kind of just like coming home and, and being with my family of weirdos, and we have a good time. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, uh, being here in Northern Virginia, is this your first time in Northern Virginia? I've been like to the D.C. like city area, but. This is kind of my first time. Yeah, yeah, everybody's been great. I love that we're in the middle of a Ritz Carlton hotel and there are people literally walking around in every costume imaginable. You can imagine, it's it, beautiful. It's my favorite thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, <laughs> now, obviously, I saw your, your surprise at Comic Con. It was yeah. the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, for people who don't know, can you just explain what happened and who knew and who didn't know? Yeah, basically, the Duffer Brothers contacted me and were like, "Hey, we want to do a surprise. We want you to come to Comic Con because um, I wasn't slated to appear there." And nobody knew. The cast didn't know. <laughs> so I sneak into Comic Con. I'm wearing a mask, and I I'm at their panel. And so when they open it up to questions and answers, I am the first one to ask a question, and I like take off my mask, and everybody just just like flips out. <laughs> it was crazy because I asked a question. I mean, they wanted me to ask if Barb was going to be in season two, <laughs> and they like couldn't even hear me because everybody was Freaking flipping out. out. Yeah, what so mask I had to did you have it. on? It was like a Ninjago mask <laughs> that like my friend just happened to have, and so I'm like, all right, that's cool. Oh my god! So the cast had no idea. So you basically mm -hmm. get up and you say, "Is Barb going to be in season two? And they immediately say, "No." Well, right? like, pretty uh, much, which yeah. Which was like it made me really upset. I mean, I, I guess my only thing was. Flashbacks? Can't she come back in right. flashbacks? Did you shoot anything for I mean, flashbacks? I feel like Jon Snow was very dead and he came back, so like, <laughs> what's the deal? Yeah. But no, like, it's fine. Um, no, I didn't shoot any flashbacks. I know that, like, Barb is definitely a topic of discussion in season two, though, and they, they tell me that there will be justice for her. I don't know what that means. I think a funeral would be really nice yeah. if somebody, like, acknowledged that I was, like, gone. Yeah. That would be cool. Um, but, like, other than that, yeah, I have no idea. I'm just as curious to see what happens in season two as everyone else. I know I know this is a question you probably get a lot, but when you when you first got that role, I mean, I, I don't think anybody knew, how one, how big the show was going to be, two, how iconic your character oh, was going to become. Not. Yeah. And do you think there's any regrets at all for killing off the character? Like, I, mean, I feel like I mean, she's a fan favorite. I'm like, no, I want I, more Barb. I mean, I don't think anybody expected that. I, I definitely <laughs> did not, um, you know, and I think she, I mean, she was a great character, um, but there wasn't a lot, you know, to, to, to learn about her. So a lot of it, I really kind of just, you know, had to sort of fill in the gaps myself. I think hmm. it was like Barb, awkward and nerdy. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, how do I make this person like a real human being? Um, but yeah, was, I mean, she dies so quickly, you know, wasn't expecting people to really care too much, yeah. but then they did. And I do think that the, the brothers kind of had to like rethink season two a little <laughs> bit because there was this outrage, which was <laughs> fascinating. Yeah. You mentioned filling in the gaps. Uh, I'm, in, I'm so interested in actors who like build these backstories and things that aren't necessarily in the script. What's something funny that you added to Barb that wasn't necessarily on the page? Like, did you develop like her favorite foods or birthday? Like, do you work like her parents are? Like, do you go through all these things? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I am all about like inner monologue as an actor. Yeah. I think you know that's one of the like blessings and curses of film is that people can read your face and you know, you can almost tell what the person is thinking and if they're thinking, what's my next line or if they're actually in the moment. Mm. So, yeah, I really kind of just drew a lot from like my personal experiences in high school, like being a third wheel or being stuck at a party that I definitely did not want to be at. Mm. Um, and, you know, like I think all of us at some point have, have had kind of a friend like Nancy who you know, didn't, or, you know, somebody who didn't make you a priority when you made them a priority, and yeah. that hurts. And so I, I really tried to to convey that in a way that felt genuine. Now, speaking of things not knowing how big this is going to be, you got an Emmy nomination, which is, I, first <laughs> of all, it's, it's well-deserved. Second of all, <laughs> Thank you. I was so happy to see that because it was... <laughs> It was awesome like, just to see like everybody rejoicing about that. <laughs> um, I know this is a question you probably get, but where were you when you found out? What, who called you first? Did your phone just blow up? Like what happened? Yeah, well, I remember being really sad because I knew that they were going to announce the nominees and I was on a plane on my way to Vancouver to do Riverdale season two. Yeah. And so I'm like, 
I mean, they have already announced it. I'm on the plane, the plane lands, and I turn on my phone, and it's just like <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Like people are like blowing it up. I'm like, what happened? I don't know what's going on. And then almost immediately, I get a call from like my manager and my publicist, and they're both literally like crying on the phone. They're like, you got nominated, and I'm like, that's insane. I remember like. I had like the, the strongest urge to just stand up in that plane and be like, I don't know if anybody cares, but I just got nominated for an Emmy. I didn't do that. You should have well, done that. That would have been like a cool viral video. Like Barb stands up on a plane. That would have been awesome. No, no. Um, but yeah, I got out of like the airport and I was like frozen in one place and just like shaking. And then a therapy dog walked by <laughs> and I pet it and it made everything better. Everything better so immediately. Great. Yeah. Uh, I know we don't have a lot of time, but uh, I do uh, just for the nerds out there, if you could envision a conversation between Ethel and Barb, like what do you think they would talk about? Uh, the character from Riverdale and the character from Stranger Things. What do you think they would discuss if they could meet each other? That's awesome. I think I think they would get along really well. I mean, I definitely envision them both being very big readers, so I think they would have a lot of great discussions about books. Um, and like music too, because <laughs> I mean, Barb is totally like all about Toto and like ELO, and I think that Ethel would probably have like kind of an old school taste in music too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're very similar. I think they could they could bond. What do you think Barb's favorite movie is of all time? If you had to guess. I mean maybe it's something you haven't built in yet, but do you anything That is a good question. I'm trying to think. You mentioned ELL because I immediately thought of the opening of Guardians of the Galaxy yes. 2 and I was like, yes, yes. Like, well, she oh probably loved that. But what do you think is her favorite movie if you had favorite to guess? movie I mean what, she died in eighty three, yeah. so I don't know if she got to see a lot of like the classic 80s movies. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I like, I I am a big horror movie fan and I love like old horror movies. I just saw one recently called Suspiria uh, by Argento. Dante Argento. Yeah. Yes. Dario Argento. All colors. Yeah. He uses colors to freak people out. It's an amazing so film. So good. They're remaking that apparently. They are with yeah. like Dakota Johnson and uh, yeah. Tilda Swinton. And yeah, I, I loved it. And so I feel like maybe she would have some like very obscure horror movie that yeah. she would have like loved. All right, they're wrapping me real fast. You used to work in a movie theater. Is that true or I false? I did, for okay. two years. I, I was a concessionist and also a box office person. So what, what was your what was your duties at the movie theater? I'm I sure. did everything. Um, it was actually, we also had a mini golf course attached. So I occasionally worked <laughs> the golf course. But yeah, I poured popcorn, I cleaned theaters, cleaned bathrooms. Um, rip tickets, the whole wow. thing. And you just auditioned for the role, and that's how that's how this all came about. Yeah, I mean, I had already been trying to get into the business, so I I had an agent since I was about 15, 16. So I kind of at least understood how auditioning worked, not the whole filmmaking process. So day yeah. one of Stranger Things was a whole learning experience for me, um, yeah. but I think it went pretty well. Yeah. And, <laughs> we're and, yeah. yeah. All right, the wrap me up it was an absolute pleasure so to meet you. Meet Thanks you. for nerding out with me. Oh and, yeah, of course. Yeah.